This is verse 25 of the 19th chapter of the Gospel of Matthew. The disciples have heard just, had just heard Jesus say that it is uh, difficult for a rich man to enter the kingdom. It would be easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. And uh, they, of course, take that as a practical impossibility. And uh, it leads to the expression of complete astonishment that we find reflected now in this verse. So, akotusantes, from akuo, I hear. This is a uh, aorist participle, masculine plural nominative, referring to the disciples. So, the disciples having heard, but uh, the postpositive da, hoi mathetai, the disciples having heard. Uh, exa placento. This is from uh, ek placo. Placo uh, means to uh, strike or to smite or to slap or something like that. It's a rather strong word. The eggs at the beginning adds a little emphasis to it. Uh, and so it uh, would be the idea of being struck uh, in astonishment and then sfodra, which is an indeclinable adverb simply adds emphasis to it. So it really is uh, con conveying the idea of being in a total state of astonishment, speechless wonder at this point, uh, as they uh, have just heard Jesus say something that they never would have contemplated. Because, of course, from their point of view, wealth was a sign of God's favor. And for Jesus to say it was this difficult for a rich man to enter uh, would leave them wondering, oh, what about the rest of us, you know, I suppose was what was going on in their mind. Legontes, the present participle from Lego, I say, so they were in a state of astonishment saying, tis, this is an interrogative pronoun, masculine, singular, nominative, who, ara. Uh, ara is a conjunction that uh, is the idea of therefore, who therefore, in consequence of this dunatai. From dunavai, I am able, third person singular, present active indicative, who therefore is able, Sothenai, aorist infinitive, to be saved. Uh, if it's that uh, difficult for a rich person, then uh, who in the world uh, could possibly be saved? And of course, what uh, is Jesus is going to do is uh, reverse their entire understanding that uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that a person is viewed favorably in God's sight, the fact that they have great wealth in this world, that uh, true wealth from God's point of view is measured along a very different uh, kind of axis.